Yeah, hey everybody, it's Jesse Price here, Director of Sales at ProsperWorks. Um, great to be on the call with you all today. Uh, we're all really excited about this new feature set. Um, so to give you a little bit of background on me, um, I've been in sales for probably close to 10 years now at IBM and Salesforce and, and now ProsperWorks. And um, you know, in my experience through that time, um, it's always been uh, a breath of fresh air when you come across tools that make your, your life easier um, as a sales manager and as a salesperson. Um, so certainly, um, you know, once again, really excited to walk you through what we've built here today. Um, we're going to kick off with uh, some background uh, just on, on where we're at with ProsperWorks and then introduce uh, Steve Holm, who's our VP of uh, product here at ProsperWorks, uh, and then jump into the demo. Um, so for those of you that may be new to ProsperWorks, um, you know, really we set out to achieve a few uh, very core um, areas of, 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 I guess, functionality for sales teams, um, which was to help them get organized, um, build a, a simple and repeatable sales process, and give them the, the analytics and visibility that they need to really improve that process uh, over time. Uh, we've been really successful uh, in accomplishing that mission. Uh, we have uh, been um, fortunate to work with a, a really great partner in Google um, who we've gone to market with and um, who we're now a part of um, the Google Recommended for Work program is the only CRM partner um, actively uh, in that uh, program itself, um, as well as being used by Google across multiple sales teams um, and receiving their Partner of the Year award um, for last year um, down in Las Vegas earlier uh, in 2016. So, you know, we've been um, going at a great trajectory here um, and uh, wanted to take it to the next level uh, with the um, Sales Accelerator suite of features. Now, what is the Sales Accelerator? Really, we wanted to go and talk to you know, dozens of sales uh, executives, you know, people who have been really successful as a VP or a sales manager uh, in companies like Dropbox or Google or Demandforce. Um, and really just ask them, you know, what's um, the, the secret to their success? You know, what's their secret source? Number one thing that came up was that they set very clear and aggressive goals for their team. Um, number two is that they know exactly where they're pacing towards those goals um, in near real time. Um, you know, so they can essentially, as number three here, um, work out what they can do to deliver on those goals, um, how they can correct the course if they're off pace. Um, with their forecast or other goals that have been set for the team. And so really, you know, we thought about that and um, tried to build a feature set that would really support these three top areas for sales executives um, and deliver it in the ProsperWorks way, which is in a really easy to use um, package, you know, that um, doesn't require a lot of training and setup and configuration. It's something that you guys can activate in your account and get started with really quickly. So to talk a little bit more about what it involves, um, I'd like to introduce uh, Steve, who's our VP of product here at ProsperWorks. Hey guys, it's Steve here. Happy to, to be here today to talk to you a little bit about the Sales Accelerator, and um, thanks Jesse for setting that up. Um, so yeah, I, I want to give you kind of a rundown of, of how we're thinking about the Sales Accelerator um, currently, which we, so we just released a few features, um, which some of you hopefully have seen and had a chance to check out. Um, but we want to let you know that we're just getting started. So our mission at ProsperWorks, as Jesse mentioned, is to really create a CRM that teams love to use. Um, and and our, our vision is to integrate with Google and to eliminate data entry and, and to really focus on design and, and usability, but also to be a smart CRM that actually helps you accelerate your sales. Um, and so what we're going to talk about today are a few features that we recently released um, that really help focus on kind of the smart um, motivational aspect of, of CRM. Um, so here on this slide you can see we've released um, goals, leaderboards, and a few new dashboards that help you get sort of performance tracking and, and some um, gamification and, and some accountability with the sales team. Um, but it's just the beginning. So um, we're also planning on working and releasing prescriptive sales actions so we can analyze your previous actions and um, what activities lead to sales uh, so we can give you better prescriptive um, recommended actions to help you close more deals and also predictive lead and opportunity scoring so that we know um, what are the outliers, what are the good leads that we should focus on and, and opportunities and what are the, what are the ones in danger. Um, so that's kind of how we're thinking about this roadmap in terms of accelerating your sales. Um, so what I want to do is kind of jump into uh, and, and go through a few of the features that we just recently released, um, walk you through how those work 
and then um, and then I'll turn it back over to Jesse to talk to you about how he applies those in his daily life. So the first one um, is goals. Uh, so as Jesse mentioned, you know the best sales teams in the world. One of the things that they always do is they set clear and aggressive goals for their team. Um, and so what we did in ProsperWorks, you know, we found actually that setting goals in your CRM out of the box is, is a kind of a cumbersome, tedious process that usually requires, you know, a spreadsheet and sales ops people to track all of that. And so what we wanted to do is build a simple way to set goals um, to, to group your teams into account executives, BDRs, SDRs, whatever you'd like, create goals for those people in those teams and be able to know exactly where each person stands in, towards, uh, in terms of hitting their goals. Um, so in, in ProsperWorks today, you can go to the settings section, set up goals for your team, um, and then on the, on the new dashboard, you're able to track those goals and see exactly how you're tracking. And goals can include um, revenue goals, so opportunity value, as well as opportunities closed, so you know the n number of opportunities closed. You can also set goals for lead conversions, um, so that your SDRs can have a goal in terms of how many leads they need to convert on a weekly, monthly, quarterly basis, and then activity goals. So you can say, you know, my team needs to call 50 people this week, or um, you know, send out a certain amount of emails, so we, we can track uh, goals for each of those activities. Um, so the next thing, once you've set up your goals, we give you sales leaderboards. And so the leaderboards, um, you know, you basically, you, ha you have these goals, and now let's see how you're tracking towards those goals, and who are the top performers, and, and how is the team averaging towards those goals. Um, so this is kind of a, a motivational aspect. You can, you know, the best reps want to always be at the top. Um, and so we, we have leaderboards for sales revenue, uh, for activities, and for lead conversions. Um, so again, if you're, you know, you want to if you if you're a rep you can compare yourself against top performers and team averages and kind of get a sense of of how your company's tracking towards their goals and and who are the leaders um, yeah we also included a uh, today dashboard is what we're calling it so on the today dashboard we give you kind of a sense of your day so um, first thing you do in the morning is you wake up uh, you look at your CRM and here are my things to do today so we're going to lay out the, the upcoming meetings based on our Google Calendar sync, um, also the tasks that you've set that are due today. So you can kind of just see a step-by-step, hour-by-hour uh, -hour view of your day uh, so that you can you know, effectively manage your time so that your managers can come in and see what you need to do uh, per day um, and easily track your suggested contacts um, and also um, just kind of get a glance uh, of your upcoming day. Uh, the next thing we're doing is, you know, one of the big things that people always tell us is, you know, we're letting a lot of our leads fall through the cracks. We're getting a lot of leads that come in, but we don't know how they're tracking through to conversion. Um, you know, we spend money on Google AdWords campaigns, but we don't know, you know, what's our conversion rate on that? Um, are we actually touching those leads as much as we need to, those type of things? So we built this new um, Leads Insights dashboard. Um, and so on the dashboard, there's a new tab called Leads. And if you go into that tab, you can see things like um, uh, source uh, lead source conversion rates. So that as you get new leads that come in that are attached to certain sources, we're going to tell you how those leads are converting um, this month compared to last month, um, as well as kind of give you a breakdown of how many leads you have per source. So this will really help your, uh, your team focus on the leads that are converting at the highest rate so that you can... Um, Kind of see where you're most effective, and then tailor your team towards uh, attacking those those leads that are that are uh, converting at a higher rate. Uh, next is um, on each of these dashboards, we're going to tell you now that you've set up goals, we're going to tell you how you're pacing towards those goals. So uh, on the sales dashboard, for example, um, we we have a uh, a goal pacing chart, so you can see you know day by day throughout the month or the quarter, whatever your goal period is. This is where you should be at per day in order to be on track to hit your goal. And so we're going to tell you this is what your actual value is. This is what you were doing last month. This is what you should be on track, uh, need to be on track for your goal. And this is where you're forecasting. So really what this does is, you know, every single day a rep and a manager can go in and see, am I pacing towards my goal or are we going to have a fire at the end of the month um, to try to get back up to where we should be. Um, the next Actually, yeah, so, so those are kind of the, uh, the features that we've re recently released with the uh, Sales Accelerator. 
Um, so those include goals, uh, dashboards, and leader leaderboards. And so Jesse is going to actually walk you through how he applies these to his daily life here at Prosperworks. He manages a big uh, team of account executives, and so he'll walk you through how he thinks about these features. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Um, yeah, and, and so really, uh, as a sales manager, and I'm, I'm sure that a lot of these questions run through your minds for all the sales folks on the team on the call here as well, but. Really, number one question for me is, you know, how do I better motivate my team? How do I get more out of each individual um, so that we bump up that overall team number? You know, so to do that, I need to know, um, you know, are they on track? Who my top performers are? Um, you know, how do I improve their time management? Um, and and also, how do I in encourage some healthy competition on the team? So these are all questions that go through my mind on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and really, uh, the data uh, that I'm getting from the new accelerator tools uh, in ProsperWorks helps address a lot of these. So let's jump into the demo um, and take a look. Alrighty. So over here in my uh, ProsperWorks demo environment, you'll see that um, you know this is my, my regular dashboard. But when you upgrade to our business plan to access these accelerator tools, you'll see a series of new tabs uh, the team. Steve just described here across the top. So things like our leads dashboard, sales dashboards, activity dashboards, and goals. First thing that I want to do as a sales manager, um, wondering you know, how am I looking for this month, um, is in line with those top three uh, areas that the top VPs of sales and sales managers focus on, I want to be able to look at where my team are pacing towards their individual goals. So I'm going to jump over to my leaderboards tab here. And just in terms of the layout, what you'll see is that each individual has a target um, that's visible in grey, and then you'll see what their achievement is visible in blue. Um, there's some summary stats up the top which are really useful. So I can see that my team goal is 36k. Um, the period here is for this month, um, but I can adjust this to line up with whatever my goals are for the company. So if we operate on a weekly, monthly, quarterly, annual basis, that's just fine. Um, so then the next thing I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking at how the team are performing and I'm trying to identify who are my top performers um, in terms of Kim and Dwight here, um, who's in the middle of the pack and then who might need a little bit more help um, kind of towards the bottom here. So I'm kind of thinking through this um, as I start my day. Um, the next thing I'm doing is I'm scrolling down and maybe having a look at my lead conversions you know, as a precursor to how much pipeline we have. Um, I want to know, you know at what rate the, the the leads that we're bringing into the funnel are being converted, so I can kind of get those insights there. Um, and we'll talk about activities in just a minute as we move along through the through the demo here. Um, something that's really helpful in figuring out where I'm going to land this month is taking a look at our past performance. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is go back and take a look at my last month and figure out who my top performers were there also. So you can see here that last month we had a goal of uh, 40k and we came in at 87.5%. Um, the standout performers were uh, once again Kim up the top and then Madison. And then we had uh, Dwight and Gerald kind of in the middle and Ava and Sophia at the bottom. Now um, it, any topic incentives executive will tell you that you need to treat these different groups of people in your team um, with uh, well in a different way to really get them motivated. So for the folks at the top, it's about having the right data to help them maintain their position as a top performer and give them confidence that, that they're really maximizing their commissions and getting the most out of uh, each week and each month. For the folks in the middle, it's about helping them understand what it takes to be that top performer um, and, and setting an ambitious goal of um, you know one day taking that top spot. For the folks ramping or um, you know just need that extra bit of coaching it's about helping them understand where the uh, team average is and sort of aiming at that as their near-term goal um, and then in doing that by helping everyone kind of get to that next level you're really going to improve this total uh, number over time so now that I've um, understood that you know Ava here is one of my um, reps who's on ramp and I'm going to keep her in mind for maybe the first person I'm going to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with this morning Let's jump over now to have a look at how we're uh, performing from a sales perspective this month. So if I jump into my sales dashboard, what we're going to see here is um, a graph that's showing us not only this month's performance, but also last month's performance in blue. So we can see how we're pacing um, in comparison to last month. 
And then as we get up to today's date, so the green represents our close one business so far, um, the yellow dotted line is going to project our forecast based on all of those opportunities that you're already managing in ProsperWorks, um, factoring in things like their close dates and the win probabilities associated um, with each of the stages in your pipelines that you've all set up. So we can see that that um, is kind of curving up nicely towards the end of the month, which is fairly typical for our organization. You know, we close a lot of business in that last week. So I'm not hitting the panic button just yet, um, but I know that I do have some work to do. So I'd rather have a little buffer here to uh, get out of the woods and make sure we hit that, um, that target. The next thing I can also do is go down and have a look at the pipeline that's going to get us there. So taking a look at this, I can see that I've got a good volume of deals in these later stages. Um, I've got some demos scheduled, which is great. But one thing that's a little bit concerning is uh, at this stage in the month, being the middle of the month, I've still got time to convert some of these qualified opportunities and move them through the funnel. So I'd really like to see a lot more pipeline here at stage one. Um, and I'm going to be thinking about ways that I can uh, get the team active and load into more opportunities so we can move them through and close them out before the uh, end of the month here in October. The next thing I want to do is just see, okay, well, this is all great to, to kind of look at where I'm at in the current month, but I also um, like to see those annual trends. So as you can see here, we kind of built up towards March. Um, there's some seasonality through the middle of the year with the summer months and you know, people going on holiday and so forth. Um, but we're definitely ramping up for a big finish to the year. And my ambitions as a sales manager are to keep that kind of up and upward and to the right um, trajectory happening here. So in October, I really want to finish around that um, 40K mark and really kind of make up for that, that gap that we had last month um, and, and blow it out for the team. So how do I do that? Um, I suppose that the next thing I need to do is go and schedule that one-on-one -on -one with Ava and start to look at how we can improve her month. So walking into that meeting, um, what I can do is I can jump up here and pull up Ava's profile in the um, various dashboards that we have here. So I can scroll through and have a look at all my different team members as a sales manager. Um, so I'm going to jump in and take a look at Ava. Okay, there we go. So this is Ava's uh, sales performance month to date for October. As you can see, it's very much the same format as the uh, team uh, sales performance dashboard, uh, where we can see the blue line that represents last month, the green line, which represents this month, the yellow dotted line, which is her forecast uh, projecting out over what she's likely to close. But this one also has this uh, gray line, which is a straight line to goal and really helps us kind of track um, as salespeople and sales managers um, whether we're pacing ahead or behind where we need to be. So for Ava, um, the story that we uh, can tell here is that she's doing better than last month, which is great. So we can give her some positive reinforcement there that, hey, Ava, you know, this month's looking better than last month. You really came out of the blocks and were working hard, it, it seems and you're forecasting um, a better result, but still not quite where we need you to be um, at this point in your, in your ramp period. Um, you know, we really need you to be up around that sort of four and a half K mark, sorry, five K mark there. So if we scroll down and start to uh, analyze her pipeline in a little bit more detail, um, we can see that she has that same story as us as a company overall. Um, so she's only got a few uh, deals qualified here. If I flip this over and have a look at the count, something I'm also really interested in is the fact that she's only got four demos scheduled. Um, she's, and we'll, we'll go and take a look at the goals for that in a minute, but um, she needs a lot more in there if she's going to um, impact this number for October. Um, and then the last thing that we can look at is once again that trend. So she started in July, um, she's been ramping up nicely. And I really want Ava to get motivated around continuing that upward tra trajectory and not having a down month. So once again, we really want her up, up here um, above that sort of 4K, 5K mark uh, for this month. So some ways that we can do that, you know, going back to, you know, how do we motivate and incentivize our team members is that we can jump in and, and kind of show Ava um, the state of the union by having a look at things like uh, where does she sit compared to our team average? So for this month, we can see that the team um, is in blue and Ava's in green. 
and they were pacing a little bit faster than her, kind of coming out of the blocks a bit quicker, um, and kind of showing Ava that, look, that's really the, the sort of pace that you need to be at um, in order to catch up with where the rest of the team are. And it's nice to also be able to look at that for last month as well, kind of show her that, hey, this is how the team performed last month in the blue line, um, and this is how you performed in the green line. So let's get you up there and get you back in with the rest of the pack. Now, um, one day when Ava's uh, kind of up there with the rest of the pack and she's setting her, her sights on being that top performer, we can also come in here and, and show her how she compares to our top rep, who's Kim. You know, and this has a, a twofold effect. Number one, it's sort of motivating Ava to really set her sights on Kim and to be that top performer in the team. It's also really um, giving Kim a lot of confidence here and kind of showcasing her as our number one rep um, and giving her something um, you know, to, to hold on to, right? She doesn't want to lose that spot. So you know, she's got a lot of eyes on her. Um, so this is a great way to keep, keep Kim motivated and, and kind of celebrate her success as well. So the next part of this is thinking for Ava, you know, how can we go and fill your funnel? How can we get those demos um, into the system um, and, and get them completed uh, so that we bump up that revenue number and that revenue forecast for this month? So really that's about going back to Ava's individual goals uh, and seeing how she's performing against them. So this is Ava's dashboard that she would be logging into every day. Um, giving herself some short-term um, incentives or, or motivation to go out and, and think, well, you know, that number looks pretty big, but what can I do to really make an impact today? So Ava can jump in and she can come down and look at where she's at with her revenue, look at where she's at with her leads, but we can really break this down into very granular, very specific activities that are going to influence her number um, that she can do each day. So she knows that she needs demos. She knows that that's a really big precursor after hitting her number or not. In order to book the demos, hey, you've got to get on the phone and talk to customers <laughs> so we can set some goals around that too. Um, we can set goals for any kind of custom activity um, that you guys have in the system also. So some really good ones that I've seen so far are things like if you have you know, on-site meeting goals, um, if you have quarterly business reviews for existing customers. So this isn't all about prospecting a new business. You can really set those um, QBRs in place for um, you know, more sort of uh, regular account management meetings, uh, that type of thing. Um, if you're in uh, sort of outside sales, things like store inspections, um, you know, any types of activities can be logged here in the system uh, and, and gold against. So for Ava, um, you know, we can jump in here, we can have a look at her performance and we can also adjust these as a manager. So if I kind of look at Ava and say, hey, you're a little behind, you know, you're a little newer, so you actually need to be working a bit harder than the rest of the team in order to hit these goals, then I can always go in here and adjust this um, with her. So we're having a kind of a conversation, we're mutually agreeing to these KPIs and then she's logging in every day and working hard to knock these out of the park. So it becomes a really great uh, coaching tool for me, uh, but also you know, the perfect way for Ava to manage her own day and know exactly what she needs to be doing um, to influence her revenue number here. So as you can see, we can really go from that top level of uh, looking at the board um, and drilling all the way down to specific goals for individuals that are ultimately going to help us drive that number up and hit our targets. So that's the Sales Accelerator overview. Um, I hope that uh, made sense and, and is exciting to all you folks on the phone.